Hey friends, Asher with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance that nobody seems to care about at all. I don't even think that the house that made this cares about it. <laughs> it's uh, Pepe Jeans London. Black is now. Now this is a limited edition release. Came out in 2020. If you check Pepe Jeans website, they don't even have this on there anymore. So, like I said, they really don't seem to care about it. And they're one of the few houses that seems to actually mean it when they say something's limited edition. A lot of times houses are like, hey guys, we got this new fragrance, but it's limited edition. So you better buy it now. And then 10 years later, it's still for sale. And they're like, for real guys, for real, it's limited. Limited to a decade and a half. But with Pepe Jeans, they're for real, seems like. They say limited edition, it's on their website, and then it's gone. So. Good for them, I guess. In this video, I'm gonna break this one down for you, let you know what it smells like. I'm gonna show you this presentation, which is, honestly, I hate this presentation, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. And uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about all that good stuff, like always, so let's jump into it. Let's check out this presentation, guys. Like I said, not a big fan. Here it is. You got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, Pepe Jeans London, black is now right on the front, size and concentration down here at the bottom, and that's pretty much it. The rest of the box just has this textured pattern on it all the way around at the top, and then on the bottom, you've got your ingredient information right there. The badge code for this one is 0335E. It's printed in black ink down here on the bottom, so a little hard to see. Opens up like so. And then on the inside, it says black is now. And you just have to pull this thing out and the bottle sits right, right in here. I'm just not a huge fan because it's kind of a pain in the butt once you get the, the bottle out to put this all back together if you want to keep it. So we'll just, we'll just put it over there for now. And here we've got the bottle. This is your standard Pepe Jeans men bottle design. Looks like a little martini shaker. We've got that same pattern that you're gonna see on the box on the bottle. You've got Pepe Jeans London right there, not to be taken on the back. Not to be taken. I still don't get it. And then on the bottom, you got a sticker. Cap does click into place as you can see right there. And I'll waste a couple sprays for you guys. Not a bad atomizer. Now here recently, I reviewed this one, Pepe Jeans Celebrate for him, and this is actually really, really, really solid for the price. Surprisingly good. So you can check out that review if you want and learn more about that fragrance. The original Pepe Jeans for men, I reviewed that as well, and that one didn't impress me as much. So when I bought this one, and I saw, hey, this is actually really good. Nobody's really talking about it, but I like it. Let me go ahead and pick up this one. And then I found out almost nobody has this. This is not at discounters as of right now. It's not even on Pepe Jean's website. Like I said, it's limited edition and they meant it. So I actually found a bottle on eBay. And there's one person, as of this video, that has them on eBay, selling them for $55. Now in the UK, you can still find this. It's 30 pounds from what I could see online, which is pretty close to 55 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit you guys with the full note breakdown here of this fragrance. It does have a similarity to another very popular fragrance out there. You can pick it up pretty much right away. So I'm gonna give you these notes and then you think about it and see if you can come up with which fragrance you think this smells kind of similar to. No cheating, no cheating. Okay, in the top we've got hazelnut, mandarin, nutmeg. Those are the three notes in the top. In the mid, we have coffee and lavender. So just two notes in the mid. And then in the base, we have cedar, vanilla, vetiver, and patchouli. There we go. Talk amongst yourselves. See if you can come up with the right answer here. Okay, have you thought about it? Have you decided? I'll tell you what it is. Ferragamo Womo. Yes, similar to Ferragamo Womo. Not the exact same though. There are some differences. Now when you first spray this one on, don't immediately 
put your nose to it. Let it settle for you know, 15 seconds. If you spray it and immediately go to smell it, you're gonna smell alcohol, just alcohol. And that's not pleasant. After that though, you get a little bit of mandarin. It's a nice little pop, this little pop of green mandarin. It smells very pleasant, very nice. Quickly, it will start to seg into the hazelnut and the nutmeg, more hazelnut than nutmeg. So that could remind you ever so slightly of popular releases out there, like Stronger With You, things that take those sort of warm, nutty notes and make them very prominent. You might be reminded slightly of those in the opening here. But then it quickly shifts and the coffee comes into play more. Coffee and lavender in the mid. Coffee being much, much, much more prominent than that lavender. And that's when this one starts to take that Ferragamo Womo sort of path. Into the dry down, you've got cedar, you have vetiver, so you have this woody base. You've got vanilla, which adds a little more sweetness, kind of mixes with that coffee from the mid. So to an extent, black is now is almost like this mixture of a lot of men's designer releases that have come out over the past number of years that are very warm and at the same time sweet and sexy and compliment pulling. This is like taking a number of those and kind of mixing them together, though the one that you'll be reminded most of if you were just gonna pull one from this would be Ferragamo Womo for me. Is this one potentially redundant if you already own Ferragamo Womo? It's getting there. Really depends on you as a person, as a fragrance buyer, as a fragrance connoisseur. I know you are. I know you're a connoisseur. If you already own Womo, are you okay with having a fragrance that's say 75% the same? You know, Womo with a twist, you could say, are you okay with that? Or are you the type of person that says, I have Ferragamo Womo, anything that's in this style, I don't need. If you're person A, then you should check this out. If you're person B, don't worry about this one. At 55 bucks, I think that this one is worth picking up personally if you like fragrances in this style because I'm not for sure if it will pop up at discounters for less or not. If I knew for sure that it would pop up at discounters, I would say absolutely don't wait for it to pop up and buy it for 30 bucks or 25 bucks because that's probably what this would go for at discounters. But with it being a limited edition already off Pepe Jean's website and having not popped up to date, it's hard to say whether it will or not. There are, as of this video, I think somewhere like 15 bottles that that person on eBay still has. And as far as I can tell, in the US, that's it. A whole whopping 15 bottles. So I'm sure that there's other stock out there. It's just, it hasn't popped up yet. So if it sounds interesting, I say go for it. I don't regret it a bit. I think the packaging, the box rather, sucks. But the fragrance itself really, really smells nice. And it's basically Ferragamo Womo with a twist. Like Womo with a slight stronger with you twist or, or something like that if you wanna just break it down really simply. In terms of longevity, looking at six to seven hours here, so pretty good. And in terms of projection, uh, slightly above average for me, but not really a beast. In terms of seasons, more fall and winter time kind of fragrance. Again, hazelnut, coffee, vanilla, cedar. That's really what you're gonna pull from most here, with a little bit of orange in the opening, a little bit of lavender in the mid. As far as daytime or nighttime, more a nighttime fragrance for sure. Not really a surprise. I mean, the bottle is pitch black, so more of a nighttime scent for me. Uh, you can wear this casually. Definitely could wear this on a date. You could wear this on a night out. You could wear this to a club. Lots of different situations you can wear it, but most of them are gonna kind of gravitate around nighttime use. And compliments? Yeah, you betcha. This one is a big compliment puller, just like Ferragamo Womo, just like any of the fragrances that are kind of in this style. So if you're looking for a scent that's gonna pull attention positively in cooler weather or nights out, yes, this will do that, hands down. It really is surprising to me that Pepe Jeans, at least in the US, doesn't seem to push this at all. I mean, you don't see it talked about, you don't even see it pop up for sale, really, and then it's, it's gone. This is done by a perfumer, Jerome Epinette, who's really well known. And the fragrance itself is right up there with some of the heaviest hitters uh, in the men's designer realm. If we're talking fall and winter fragrances that are accessible in terms of the pricing, because even at full retail, this is not expensive. This one as well, actually all the fragrances from Pepe Jeans at full retail are not expensive at all. So it's really strange 
to see these just kind of come and go and nobody cares. Like I said, the original one was not great, but this one, even at full retail, lots of people out there would get tons of use out of this. And if they made enough of these that they actually popped up at discounters for 25 bucks, you would see this on 90% of the cheapy lists that get made most likely. Now, obviously this is not super unique. It's not, period. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it is. I mean, I've told you numerous times that there are other men's designer fragrances that obviously inspired this one, but it's still really solid and it kind of sucks to see it just come and go. If this were pushed a little more, if it were out there a little more, if people could get their hands on it, get their noses on it, and if especially it popped up at discounters, this would be really great for a lot of people. So there we go, Pepe Jeans London. Black is now. It's a fragrance that will not be remembered by many people. And it's kind of a shame because I think a lot of guys out there would really appreciate what this one can do in terms of just pulling positive attention and kind of boosting your confidence. Not hyper unique, not really doing anything new for sure, but in terms of being a usable fragrance in fall and winter, you could do way, way worse than this. There we go, Pepe Jeans. Black is now. If you've smelled this one or any fragrances from this house, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Like I said, I bought mine off eBay. That's the only place I've seen it in the US over the past couple months. So if one of you finds somewhere where this is for sale, you know, leave it in the comments below. Maybe in the future it does pop up at Fragrance Nat or Fragrance X. It's possible, that is completely possible. But as of right now, it hasn't. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support, stay safe out there. See you tomorrow for another fragrance video. See you guys.